Hey guys, welcome to my first segment that I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to start off basically just giving a rundown of what I throw in my tackle box, what I like to use while I'm out bass fishing. Um, you know, this box here is full of my hard baits. Um, I got shallow divers, I've got, you know, my medium to deep divers, I got, you know, a few lipless. Um, my shallow divers, specifically one that I, I really like, is the Bomber Square A Bill shallow diver. These are one of my favorite go-to lures. This color specifically is the Foxy Mama color. Before the heat wave came, I was catching a lot of bass off this color, as well as um, the Fire Tiger and Shad color were also a, a big popular color. But this Foxy Mama was the the best one out of them all. My dad set him up on throwing one of these, and he caught his biggest bass, which was a little over uh, seven pounds, and off the same size lure. Um, with the, the boxy color here, this is a little bit smaller one, but on the bigger size one, I've caught uh, my biggest bass, which is 10 pounds, 1 ounce, which is a pretty big bass for Illinois, um, as well as I got a few Rapalas, I got an off-brand, kind of no-name, shallow diver. Here I've kind of got my medium to deep diving cranks. Most of these here are no-name I got a cotton cordell here. These here are my Bill Newmans. You know, they're pretty good for what what you pay for them. They're not bad. Uh, next is the Strike Kings Red Eye Shad lipless crankbait, and these these are these are good. You know, I I was for the longest time I was fishing with the cotton cordells lipless cranks and the Bill Lewis rattle traps, and then when these uh, Red Eye Shad came out. I mean, it just it changed the game for me. You know, these were one of my favorites to throw for a long time. As well as Bill Lewis Rattle Traps, which every tackle box should have. These Bill Lewis Rattle Traps for me, especially when conditions have been real tough, and you know, if I've been having a hard time trying to figure out what the fish are going to want to hit. I've put these Bill Lewis rattle traps on and the fish seem to just go at them. This is another kind of off-brand one I, I got for free. Uh, this is the Bass Pros uh, Shad Chopper and one of my sponsors uh, tackle shop in my hometown he um, was telling me a guy came in and was talking about this saying how he's caught a lot of bass off these and you know, so we decided well I need to get one and I'll go out and try it out and I didn't catch a whole lot I didn't catch super super big bass I did happen to catch bass off of it um, but because it did catch bass I, it earned a spot in my tackle box but I can tell you what if you're a big into striped bass, hybrids, white bass, you definitely got to get you one of these because they just tear that thing up. And I've got a few cotton cordels. Next, I kind of got some stick baits here. Uh, I got some topwater poppers. Got a True tungsten, true tungsten swim bait, which it's it's nice. I I really like the action to it. I mean, little little pricey for them, but the swim action on this is outstanding. The next is the Hinden Zara Spook, and I cannot talk enough about the Hinden Zara Spook. You know, the walking the dog technique with this, it drives the bass nuts. Um, you know, this is another one for me. When times were getting tough, you know, the bite was hard. You really just couldn't get them to hit off anything. You know, throw that Zara Spook on. 
get the walking the dog technique going and the bass just cannot stand this thing and just crush it. I would definitely recommend if you do not have one of these in your tackle box that you go out and get some because these are probably some of the best top water lures I've, I've used. Another new top water bait that I'm real big on are the Spro Bronze Eye Frogs. Uh, these in particular are the 65's. Uh, they do make the Spro Bronze Eye Frogs Juniors which are a little bit smaller but with me I like the 65's. You know bass just eat these things up. Um, recently I had seen a few videos and I've talked to a few people that basically take the technique of walking the dog with the Zara Spook to doing the exact same technique with these frogs but they call it walking the frog and essentially they just take some of the back here and snip it up and maybe I can get a video going demonstrating you know what you gotta do to get them to do it and how you do it to get them to work but I can tell you what these frogs have taken for me frog fishing to a whole new level I can't talk enough about these things. I mean, to me, the only negative to these frogs is their cost. But that shouldn't limit you to want to try these things because you're paying for the quality. I mean, these frogs are terrific, you know. You pay $9, I mean, you got to really try hard to snag these things. So for me, I mean, it's, it's worth it. These are some uh, great, great top water lures here that I would recommend anybody start getting in their tackle box, especially if they love the frogfish. Next here is kind of bare. I need to get uh, stocked up on it. These jigs here are custom jigs. These can only be purchased at the fishermen's quarters in Decatur, Illinois and these jigs in particular are called T-Dogs Pro Lure Jigs and you know I, I'm a big big jig guy I love fishing jigs and I've fished all kinds of them and I can honestly tell you that these jigs ba are basically the best jig I have ever used he carries both football and a you know regular style jig and these things are absolutely terrific you know from the moment that I found I've stumbled across these things to even now I mean I was throwing these when they when they, the heat wave was here and it was still coming and catching the bass for me you know he's got a wide variety of sizes um, colors uh, this one in particular is the green pumpkin um, he does have a black and blue as well as a root beer brown color and I really like the root beer brown color you know it's got a good kind of crawl imitation to it that is that is nice I mean these things are hands down the best jigs that I've I've ever used and you know I'll be I'll be putting videos together with me fishing with these jigs you know so that way you guys can see just how good they are um, he also has you know peanut butter and jelly uh, you know basically any kind of color scheme you want I'm sure it can probably be put together um, if you have any questions about wanting wanting to check these jigs out uh, look up the fisherman's quarters in Decatur, Illinois on Facebook and you know tell them you're interested in checking out these jigs and I'm sure he'd be more than happy to set you up and get you going but I can tell you what man if you like jig fishing and you use these jigs you won't want to go to any other jig I can't I you know these jigs are just they're outstanding for me um, Next are some of my crawls. Again, it's kind of barren in here. I need to stock up. Um, I got a couple of Reaction Innovations crawls. Um, you know, these are pretty good. They're okay. 
for what I was using until I came across T-Dog's Pro Lures and he made his cross and you know he's he's got a few variety of colors this one's the watermelon um, he's got you know like the electric blue uh, the craw color but you know one thing I love about these craws is if you compare them to the reactions innovations you know where you got the ribs here it's ribs all the you know just there's no spacing it's ribs all the way through all the way through whereas here with the t-dogs jig you know it's got your ribs ribs and then there's a slit in the middle here and what's nice about that slip when you're texas rigging this thing and you're going and you're bringing that hook back through instead of trying to push the plastic back into the hook so that way it's weedless you know when you're rigging it that hook will just slide right in this gap here and it's weedless so it saves a lot of effort and it helps kind of keep keep everything real leveled out um, I do like to throw these on the back of those jigs they're they're pretty nice but my all-time favorite thing for these is to Texas rig these things um, one lure one that I'm really getting hot on on throwing on the back of my jigs are the baby pack across and they are made by Netbait, and this one in particular is the peanut butter and jelly. This is about a three and a quarter inch. Um, don't quote me a hundred percent on the size, but I believe it's three and a quarter inch for the baby pack across. And I tell you what, you know these things, real, real good action to them. You know, you can't really slow fish these things, and I can tell you what the bass the bass love these things they are uh, tremendous uh, my plan eventually is to basically only throw these on the back of those jigs but since we're sticking with sticking with soft plastics here we kind of show you what I'm what I'm working here um, of course these are the net bait pack across they are they're, they're good you know another thing I would recommend get the five inch pack of crawl and Texas rig it and I tell you what you can't go wrong because those things are some of in my opinion are some of the best out there here I got a couple of um, Strike King worms and these are basically kind of Strike King's version of like the Cinco worm, little wacky rig style worm. You know you wacky rig these or put them on a shaky head jig and they tend to work pretty good. I'm not a super super big worm guy but these tend to come in handy pretty good. Um, I got a couple of smaller smaller crawls. Uh, one's Reaction Innovation. The other one's just kind of an off-brand baby bass color. Um, next here, uh, these are some more T-Dogs lures here. And these are the Brush Hogs. And I can tell you guys one thing. Yeah, these are your typical looking brush hog, you know, pretty generic. But the salt mix that he uses for these things, I mean, I'm telling you, watch out because the bass just can't not hit it. I mean, the scent's completely irresistible to the bass. And I can tell you one thing. I would recommend you guys giving these a try. I mean, these aren't your everyday brush hogs. Um, this is, in particular, is the green pumpkin. This is my absolute favorite. This is another lure. When my, can, when can, I'm facing tough conditions, you know, I put this green pumpkin on Texas frigate. It always seems to come bail me out. Um, 
here he's got a red shad color which is another another pretty good color um, he's got watermelon with a little bit of red flake and watermelon and red flake is always a good color to use I mean you can always find great great use for that color another one that's another one of my favorites is the black with the uh, speckled blue and it's got the blue tail trailer on it and I can tell you what man these are another one that are just outstanding you know I recommend people go out and give them a try you know you never know like I said you know they look like your ordinary brush hog but they're not I mean that mixture crazy legs, jigger craw, and these little tentacles, whatever you want to call them, just really tend to set this bait off and really make it very unique and pretty irresistible to the bass. Um, next here we got the Zoom Fluke swim bait here. You know, this is another one that's a, a, a really good one that uh, I, I would recommend. Um, you know, especially if you're going to want to use this which a lot of people that I know I often do is use it as a a swim jig trailer basically you know just cut off some of that slide it on that hook and it makes for a great uh, swim jig if not you know just rig it up as a swim bait and put it on a swim bait hook and it it will it will not disappoint um, it is a zoom product so you know zoom is always going to be bringing out something good next I've got a small mouth little tube that I use anytime I'm trying to get smallmouth or I'm out fishing for smallmouth. Uh, sometimes this even works pretty good for large mouth. Um, I don't use this too too often but um, it does work pretty good. Next is originally what I use for frog fishing is the zoom horny toad and basically you know just rig this up use it as top water bring it across the pads or bring it on top of the cover and you know it, it it does what them new frogs do now and so to me this is kind of something out to me it's for me it's outdated but I still if somebody were to ask me what I thought about it I'd say it's a great bait and would definitely recommend getting it I've got you know, some more brush hogs a pack of crawl reaction innovation so this just kind of 
my spinner baits I keep in there, but I just kind of got some extra stuff I don't really use. Another one here is uh, some of my swim baits, and this one here. These are Yum Money Minnows, and I love these things. These are the three and three and a half inch, and this one's been torn up. I took it off my rod just because I start. I wanted to throw something else on there, but I love Yum Money Minnows. I mean. They are absolutely outstanding. If you're going to fish swim baits, I would definitely recommend the Yum Money Minnow. Um, they've got the 3.5 inch, they got the 5 inch, and they've got a 6.5 inch. And these are the 3.5 inch. Um, to me, I think the 5 inch would be pretty ideal, but I wanted to just go with the 3.5 inch because I kind of just wanted to get a feel for the swim bait because I've never really used them before. And I just kind of wanted to give them a try. Uh, what's nice about these, you know, rigging these swim baits up, they got the opening, so you take the screw, screw it in the lip, line that hook up, bring it back in, and you're, I mean, you're ready to go. This color is the AU color. It is a, it's a pretty good color. I mean, like I said, this one's been peed up. I've been catching tons of fish off this one, um, as well as the bluegill color, which is another another really good color. Um, they got about, I think it's about eight different colors and I think these are probably the best swim baits in my opinion on the market. So if you want to take my advice, Young Money Mental Swim Baits, you can't go wrong with them. Next is just kind of a little bit of my terminal tackle. And here, you know, I've got um, we've got Mikatsu two aughts, three aught hooks. Um, I ran out of four aught hooks. I need to get some more four aught. Um, here, I've got some five aught Gamakatsu extra wide gaps, EWG hooks. Got them in the black. Got them in the red. Um, I do like using the red every once in a while, just to kind of give it something a uh, different look. Got a couple of Gamakatsu swim bait hooks. I got the three sixteenths ounce. And I've got the quarter ounce, you know, three sixteenths ounce are perfect for those young money minnows, three and a half inches. Um, the five inch ones, I'd be throwing quarter ounce on. Um, they, I, Gamakatsu to me is one of the best hook companies out there. I mean, they're sharp. It's a good hook set. Um, definitely would tell you go Gamakatsu. They're just my favorite. Um, and I got you know some bullet weights. Got some drop shots for uh, drop shot fishing and you know with this big craze of the trocar hooks, you know I figured I'd get get one and try it out and to me they are a great hook. I mean that surgically sharpened hook is it's a great hook set it makes it a little bit easier to set the hook just because how sharp it is but you know you're spending ten bucks on like four of them which you are paying for your quality for these don't get me wrong but you're paying ten bucks for these when you can get a gamakatsu hook and you can get five or six of them for like 320 so to me it's especially a better deal just going with gamakatsu but that's um, that's what I throw when I'm out bass fishing this is this is my first video so I'm hoping eventually to make some more so hopefully I'll be able to kinda get you some action shows show you basically how to use different things um, and maybe just kind of do some fun stuff as well so I hope you guys enjoyed